According to Hameroff, our souls are built from something much more fundamental than neurons. They are constructed from the very fabric of the universe. I think that consciousness, or its immediate precursor, we'll call it proto-consciousness, has been in the universe all along, perhaps from the Big Bang. All of this recalls the Buddhist and Hindu belief that consciousness is an integral part of the universe, and perhaps it is all there is in the universe. If consciousness is a quantum process, it may solve the mystery of what happens during near-death experiences. Let's say the heart stops beating, the blood stops flowing, the microtubules lose their quantum state, but the quantum information, which is in the microtubules, isn't destroyed, it can't be destroyed, it just distributes and dissipates to the universe at large. If the patient is resuscitated, revived, this quantum information can go back into the microtubules and the patient says, I had a near-death experience. I saw a white light, I saw a tunnel, I saw my dead relatives, I maybe even floated out of my body. Now, if they're not revived and the patient dies, then it's possible that this quantum information can exist outside the body, perhaps indefinitely as a soul. Many scientists find it difficult to believe that the soul is a quantum computer hardwired into the cosmos. But Hameroff feels that research is slowly validating his claims. Quantum effects have recently been shown to control several important biological processes, from bird navigation to photosynthesis to the human sense of smell. So far, nobody has landed a serious blow to the theory. We're still very viable, and evidence continues, uh, new evidence continues to support the ideas that we put forth 15 years ago. But the truth is, we still don't know where consciousness comes from or where it goes when we die. If there was a way to measure consciousness, perhaps we could find the answers to these questions.